thank you very much for joining me in the ninth tutorial of angular crash course in, th in this video we will talk about services so if you have to create a new service how you can do it let's uh, open a new terminal first where we are going to first come inside the applications folder in which our application resides and here we can fire a command ng generate service for creating a new service let's execute the enter button and see what's going to happen so as you can see a service uh, with name people service has been created and now we have two more files in the applications folder so we do not require this spec.ts file because it is for testing purpose that is not uh, a part of the scope a service is used for creating a functionality and one service can be used by more than two components at the same time right so let's come here on the ts file where we have an array of some dictionaries defined i'm going to cut this array from here and let's just paste it over here saving the changes and here also i have to save the changes i've made okay so now as you can see we are getting some error here it's because we do not have anything for the variable named people in component.ts file okay so how can we pull the value from the service.ts file for this people named variable over here in component.ts that is what i'm going to show you now let us import the service that we have created and then we need to paste it inside the providers section also saving the changes again we are able to see this error here so we are copying this line from here and i'm going to import it over here also in this file now because we do not have anything for the people named variable in the html file so so let's just define a variable with name people we are able to get an output on the front end but this is not what we want on the front end we would like to see all the information which is present in these three dictionaries getting reflected on the front end so how can we do it now once you're done with defining the variable here you need to come here on people service and then we need to create a function so now we have a function named all people which is returning the array in which all of our dictionaries are present okay now how can we use the function here in app.component.ts so let me just tell you that you need to come down and then you need to define a constructor here so this is how it can be defined let's uh, have a variable named people service so it can be anything it can be people service also it can be something like a also totally depends upon you what name you want to use for the variable here and then we can simply copy the services name from here and put it over here like this okay and let me just use these curly brackets okay so there is a spelling mistake it should be constructor fine now after creating the constructor you need to come down here inside ng on init so whatever you will define here it is going to get automatically loaded for when the page will get loaded on the browser okay so this dot and i would like to now call this variable i have used here which is people and let me just pass a value to this variable so i would like to take the value from people service and you know the function which we defined there you can automatically see it in this intellisense window as soon as you put a dot here so let's just select the function let's uh, put the parenthesis and i am going to now save the changes and as you can see the whole information is now getting reflected on the front end this is the whole process you can follow for creating a completely new service and integrating it with the existing components this is it from my side in the lecture i hope you enjoyed it a lot thank you very much bye bye take care and have a great great day ahead i'll see you in the 10th lecture now